Hey everyone and welcome back to Prefusion. I'm Anish and today we'll talk about uh, IIT Dhanbad or also known as Indian School of Mines. So they are they have put out their information brochure for admission in MTech programs. So this will be through gate and if you are not applying through gate then you have to be in the IITs then only you can apply. So there will be no interviews here. This will be a direct admission just with the gate score. Whoever has the highest gate score they will get the higher preference. So we'll just discuss about the brochure here. What are the important dates? What are the different departments? And how many seats are present in each of the departments? Okay, so yeah, let's discuss. So they have uh, given like what are the MTech programs and all those things you can just read through here. So first, what is the program fee? So in the first semester, you have to pay a total of 67,850 for general OBC and EWS and for other candidates, 52,850. And then for the prior semesters, the fees are as written here. Okay, they're reduced obviously. So, uh, for gate candidates, they have to have a bachelor's degree. Okay, uh, in the following uh, para, I will tell you which uh, degree you need. Okay, I will tell you about the eligibility for gate candidates, and also the minimum mark should be sixty percent or six GPA on a ten point scale. That should be the minimum marks for SCST candidates. The minimum marks has been relaxed to fifty five percent or. CGPA uh, not less than 5.5 so you have to have at least 5.5 CGPA then only you are eligible okay and uh, all the other eligibility criteria I will tell for IIT graduates if you are applying through IIT you don't need gate, sco uh, gate score uh, or gate uh, scorecard you only need to have a CGPA of 8 and above if you are from IIT and if you have a CGPA of 8 and above then also you are eligible okay then you can directly apply okay uh, in the MTech programs now for gate candidates as i told right they will be directly admitted according to their gate score okay whoever has the highest gate score they will be selected and for iit graduates whoever has the highest cgp they will be selected also uh, there will be a departmental review between them so uh, according to that they will select the iit graduates so as i told here if the gate score is same then the older candidate will be given preference wh wh whose age is higher so these are the few things you can check the uh, medical fitness now what are the dates so the admission portal okay will remain open from 15th of 2024 to april 7th of 2024 so this can change obviously and a candidate can apply for more than one program he can apply obviously for more than one program but can up to select maximum maximum of 10 preference a non -app refundable application fee for gate candidates and iit graduates have to be paid for each of the application which is 600 and 300 for other candidates okay and what about other things so uh, you will get admission only after you pay the admission fee right after your provision admission so everything they have mentioned here you can just check okay so and you, these are the documents that you need just check what documents you need and if you are withdrawing uh, from the admission procedure right if you withdraw before the fifth main round of the coap uh, counseling then you will be refunded all your processing fees okay uh, but just this 2000 rupees this to accept this 2000 rupees you will be refunded all your uh, fees right you will be refunded all your fees and whatever fee has been collected by them what are the other important points so these are the departments uh, like as i told like obviously you will get uh, stipend that is true but because if you are applying to gate obviously you will get stipend so that is uh, done there and what are the departments for electrical engineering in under the electrical engineering department we have power systems engineering power electronics and electrical drives so yeah, they are good but obviously uh, the placements are what i have heard is for the vlc industry it is more than currently the electrical uh, industry so that is the thing that i heard from people so next is electronics engineering uh, which is mainly for signal processing and communication so you have to like this under, under this department and you can just read through the program codes and all these things so these are the ec uh, programs and these are the double programs so this is what i have highlighted and what are the eligibility criteria for this so if you are from this if you want to apply for this power system engineering or power electronics engineering you need to have a uh, like it, it is under department of electrical engineering and you need to write the gate in either of these four branches so they have uh, made eligible the DA branch also WEC, IN and DA WEC, IN and DA so they have made these branches also eligible BE, BTEC or equivalent degree in electrical ele 
uh, electrical and electronics electrical and communication power electronics and drives so if you have done your b btech in the following branches then you are eligible okay so mainly it is mainly electrical based and here if you have done your b btech in electrical electronics electrical and communication instrumentation and control or electronics and instrumentation power electronics then also you are eligible for this particular okay ec people uh, ec people are eligible here electrical and communication also here also electrical and communication so if you are if you have done your uh, btech in electrical and communication then you are eligible now for this if you have done like for electrical uh, engineering communication and signal processing electronics if you have done your b btech in electronics engineering electronics and communication engineering electronics telecommunication engineering electrical people are also eligible here as they have mentioned right electrical uh, like if you have gate code like if you have given your gate paper from electrical branch then you are eligible obviously so just check the eligibility here ec like here in this three right in this three the electrical people are not eligible if you see carefully so in this three branches out of this i think this one will be the uh, best only because this is mainly related to the vlsi design which has the highest placement right now so ec in ph double these four branches are like are eligible for this so electrical people are eligible here okay but in these two branches they are not eligible so yeah just uh, be careful about that and uh, anything else i want to say like yeah these are the paper course you can check and yeah like the number of seats so uh, in this four mtech programs total number of seats is 20 20 25 20 20 and 30 so in the vlsi design course they have more number of seats available so it is good only so anything else yeah that important dates important dates are it will start from 15th of march and end at 17th of april it will start uh, like uh, the op cop portal they have told that it is it will open for registration on 20th of march so just be look out for that the cop portal you have to register on both on both the iit website and on the cop portal also so you have to register both okay so it is very important counseling schedule they have mentioned just check all those things so yeah basically this is it for this uh, iit dhanbad uh, mtech admissions so if you want more uh, details about the placements of iit dhanbad so i can make a video but uh, for now this is it for this video thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video